So boom, the scene starts off with Batman treating the foot soldiers like appetizers. He must have felt like Oprah, fist and feet stew for everybody. You get some feet, you get some fist. Just imagine being that inadequate of a threat, because this man had enough time to think about, hmm, how can I use this man to my benefit? That's right, I could turn him into a weapon. He grabbed one of them by his head, grappled hook to the top, just to use this man as a blade blade to take a few more down with him. But I'm not gonna lie, I do like how writers make TV and movie henchmen stupid as and not caring about their own well-being. They will die for the main antagonist with no fear in their heart at all. They can watch their friend die right in front of him, but as long as they can help the main antagonist complete their goal, they don't give a shit. I can almost guarantee the favorite quote of a movie and TV henchman is this. Never back down, never what? Never give up! Because that's the model they live by, no matter what. Like, look at Batman deadass striking a pose after killing this man. Batman really fascinates me. He's one of the only people I've seen that will beat you half unconscious or beat you fully unconscious then start interrogating you sir his brain is gone he don't remember who he is let alone why there's a big ass man cosplaying as a bat shaking him he don't know this man straight up put him on some diabolical timing i say pull up loosely because i'm almost guaranteed he was already there to begin with he was just watching from afar he hit his own people with a ninja star to his front of the <laughs> that is not how that ninja seen his day going we have that man staring up at the ceiling drifting to the afterlife this man was dead ass perched in the window so like a bird just watching his team get violated then once he silenced the would-be snitch because he don't even know if he was gonna snitch or not he was dead as I want to leave. He was like, mm, I don't really want no smoke today. I'm good on it. To be honest with you, I'm asthmatic. The way I see it, he wasn't trying to fight Batman, but Batman doesn't want to turn away free smoke. He hit that man with a grappler hook, told him, hey, bring your ass back over here. We didn't even start yet. For a man that was gun ho and running away, he turned around and was like, bat it up. We can run, run real quick. Then jumped down like he was Shawn Michael during WrestleMania. Shredder was hoping that he could convince Batman with some words that he don't want them to the ninja hands. But Batman simply said, you didn't check in, so this is mandatory now. No more words had to be exchanged. Changed. The squabble ensued. Shredder used a good old reliable ninja smoke bomb going straight into spamming some hands. But Batman was doing his thing avoiding his relative ease. But I can't lie to you. Right here is where some doubt was sold into my mind on whether or not Batman can actually win this squabble. Because Shredder decided to start showing off rolling over Batman's back. Serving Batman a hearty knee to the face, having him stumbling backwards, grabbing onto the railing. It's the first five seconds of the fight and Batman's already stumbling. I'm telling you, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> they both were showcasing their skills with a little back and forth of their martial arts. But Shredder was having no more of it, grabbing Batman by his skin tight shirt and flipping him across the platform. That's me and Batman shook, confused, befuddled. He had no idea what was going on. He was like, when can they start squabbling like this? Batman stood up like there was no other shelf in Gotham. Only he could cook like that. He took some batter rings though, but that didn't matter to Shredder because he pulled Batman's car like a black Jack Diller. He sliced through those things in slow motion without breaking eye contact with Batman. What is your freaky ass doing? This is a fight. <laughs> Stop that. Stop staring at me. But worry not, Batman's also an active practitioner of disrespect after another brief exchange batman grabbed his leg taking him to the ground then introduced his head into the very railing that shredder made him grab earlier full circle and i'm not gonna lie with that look in his eyes you could tell that awakened a demon never mind he got sent back to the ground shredder blocked batman's kick but batman was like that's light work grabbed his head then started manhandling him flipping him over his leg shredder was not gonna take that he stole that man batman's kneecap then dodged his attack also showing him that he's very capable of the easy dodges as well but batman had enough he said like, fuck that then dug his foot into this man solar plex playing footsies with this man's spine you can tell by shredder face alone how deep batman's foot is penetrating his soul now they're back to the standing squabble they really start to move a little bit batman dug into his kofi kingston bag never knew he was a fan because he hit a troll and hurt us in the middle of the fight then went straight back into the hands but shredder was like okay we're done with that grabbing this man's by the back of his neck then introduced his face into the floor he was really trying to paint batman inside his own city that will never not be wild to me batman real deal confiscated this man's blades since he don't know how to play nice with him had this man shredder taken a he really couldn't process the fact that Batman really broke his weapon. That shit must have been costly or something. And look on his face had him perplexed. Like, does he not know how much his blade cost? Until Batman size 12 rebooted his system. Now Batman's starting to step into his own rhythm. Over the shoulder, tossing to a computer. Then he spoon fed him a knee to the face, burying his head into the very computer he just broke. But I gotta take a second real quick. Because Shredder head must be made of titanium or something. Because the hit didn't even affect him. He went straight into moving around Batman guts. Then he took his ability to breathe with his four fingers. Pressing his atom apple like it was a button. But I'm just scratching my head. Like, how the hell Batman maintained his cool long enough to throw out a kick? This man almost stole your Adam apple. He almost made you swallow it. This fight was approaching that stalemate fast. They both must have been studying each other's playbooks. Shredder was exhausted, and Batman was checking 
Batman see if he was still a boy. Batman was like, there is no rest. And whoever was the director of this movie, love slow motion. I low-key thought it was Jeff Davis. If you've seen Teen Wolf, you know what I'm talking about. Shorty got into his karate beginner pose, the same pose they taught me in my first day of karate class. Then he formed to say Kukin. I must have missed that class or something. I didn't learn that. Then he started shaking like that rose toy I've been hearing about on TikTok. Why are you vibrating, sir? I guess he was hoping to end Batman with pleasure because he hit this man with a vibrating double fist to the chest. And low-key, it was effective because there's no way your opponent should have you looking like this inside a fight. This man had Batman folded and hung up like a beast chair on display. This man sure was on his last leg, still bullshit and told him some Batman, stay my way before I finish you. Sir, you're almost done yourself. That's why you didn't finish him. Then he dipped off because he knew any second he was finna faint. But I'll give Shredder this dub only because Batman was the only one to bleed. He was the only one to bleed. Batman and Shredder had to run it back one more time because the first fight was so inconclusive. Even though I gave Shredder the dub, it was still so inconclusive. They had to run it back. We begin with a little clash of the wrist blades. Who got the best wrist game out of Batman and Shredder? And it was obviously Shredder. Batman jumped back, then started displaying his mobility, leaping from the railing onto something. I don't know what that's called. And he just kept jumping and dodging, trying to utilize some tricks to get the upper hand on Shredder. Nearly blowing him up the first minute of the fight. But even on fire, Shredder was still focused on running hands with Batman. He needed to redeem himself from earlier. Batman still digging inside his bag of tricks, decided to take some breath mints or something from the back of his belt. But Shredder wasn't going for none of it. He was sick of that sh Shredder dead ass knocked those things off his hands, almost with no more tricks. Then stole his belt. <laughs> he was really getting sick of him. Had this man Shredder working overtime. I'm not gonna lie, Batman. He kind of made you like a bitch. I'm just saying. Because after taking his belt, he backhanded him at least 15 feet on that platform. It's like whenever Shredder lays his hands on Batman, he is definitely gonna take flight. Come on. Shredder must have hopped into the lab after the last fight or something. Because this man is cooking. He has Batman crawling on the floor while he's standing there letting the wind caress his cape. Talking with him, he stands true on his promises. He's totally him that if he stands back in his way he's gonna die and the way he's confidently walking towards batman while he's on his hands and knees i almost bought it he almost turned me into a believer this man served him a face oh, kick oh. making him fly yet again into the wall talking about some you ain't shit to me all i can say is he must not have any prep time somebody need to help him batman's down there's no bad alert he can press or something tell me why this man started break dancing while talking about his master plan then he started vibrating again Man, you was doing so well until you decided to whip out that freaky ass maneuver again. You could have regularly finished him off. Batman was cooked. He was done. You know that saying, stick a fork in me, he's finished or some shit like that? Batman had a fork inside his ass. He was done, ready for consumption. This man had to call in a turtle for some assistance, and I can't blame him. If a man started pulling out some vibrating blades and tried to penetrate me with them, I'm calling for help too. Help! Raphael came in there throwing that ass back in his face, breaking his face mask. For the first time in his second fight, Shutter was on the floor. Smart plan by by Batman calling in some help. Now Batman's hawking down Strutter, serving him a meaty knuckle sandwich. This time it was his turn to draw some blood. You could see all the hatred on Batman's face. He meant that punch. He threw that punch with every fiber of his being. Every ounce of muscle he could manifest, he threw that shit. And I bet it's because he cut that man's belt. That nigga was like, don't ever touch my gadgets. This man unloaded a combination he didn't utilize at all in this movie. Like he was speed beating the fuck up this man. The combination was devious and lethal. Shredder Guard could do nothing to contend against that type of firepower. Had that man stumbling backwards as he just kept walking forward with the combination never ending. Batman must have thought he was auditioning for a new Rocky movie or something. And the beating only persisted. They were free falling. And what was Batman doing? Just clobbering on this man's face face non-stop had this man's mouth look like he was making out with the joker right batman don't kill <laughs> they just free fell that man strutter's back is broken his spot is now fused with that pipe batman did win this fight i'm not gonna lie to you but hey he did have some help but he still won the fight and the combination he put on at the end made me kind of forget the fact that he got some help because he was working him